from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English. Ramping Up Your English is for English language learners from all language backgrounds who have already begun the process of learning English as their second language. It's a program for people of all ages. If you're seeking greater English proficiency, this program is designed to help you reach that goal. Ramping Up Your English is a support program for English learners who have already passed the beginning stages of learning English. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher English proficiency. We use English to teach English. The theme of our first unit is trains and railroads. This is episode 12, segment one. Our previous episode saw us on the Sunset Limited, a notable train from the days of the Southern Pacific Railroad that has been rescued by Amtrak. Today, we again reach back to the heritage of Southern Pacific with Amtrak's Coast Starlight. When I grew up in southern Louisiana, Southern Pacific ruled the rails. This iconic railroad also dominated its own backyard, that being California. Southern Pacific offered passenger service between Portland, Oregon, and San Francisco aboard the notable Shasta Daylight. This was a premier train worthy of its own paint scheme, or livery, it offered passengers outstanding scenery, passing Mount Shasta and traveling along the pristine upper Sacramento River. Another premier train by Southern Pacific was the Coast Daylight, running between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Again, the schedule was set around the scenery, offering stunning views of the Pacific Ocean during the daylight hours. Amtrak saved those two routes, combined them into one train, and calls the train the Coast Starlight. This romantic sounding train runs from Los Angeles to Seattle on a daily schedule. Let's watch this video clip as we leave Los Angeles northbound on the Coast Starlight. There's no guarantee that you'll get a sunset like this on the Coast Starlight, but you're likely to get the train ride of your life. Your journey northbound begins here at Union Station in downtown Los Angeles. This grand structure opened in 1939 and is the busiest rail terminal in the western United States. In the past, each railroad had its own station. With the construction of Union Station, passengers on Southern Pacific, Santa Fe, and Union Pacific trains could all use the same station. You can stay aboard the Coast Starlight all the way to Seattle, Washington, a journey of two days and two nights. Here, the Coast Starlight backs into the platform at Union Station. Once it stops, passengers are invited to come aboard. As sleeping car passengers, we went right to our roomettes, the smallest of the first class accommodations. And you can get specialty coffees. Not long after that, the Coast Starlight eased us out of the station and began the trip up north. We look back at LA's skyline as we listen to the announcements. Lighter. There are hundreds of you and not hundreds of us working the train, so uh, your assistance is much appreciated. Oh, nice. As mentioned, my name is Simon. I am down in the lower level of the observation lounge, manning the cafe area the entire way to Seattle. We soon cross over one of LA's iconic concrete rivers, locations for many car chase scenes in movies. <laughs> 
pulling out of LA, we pass the shops and numerous train sets for the regional commuter trains that have been added in recent years. Meanwhile, the dining car steward announces the choices on the lunch menu. Or they have a creamy lobster bisque and salad combo. Those are their choices for lunch along with their regular cheeseburgers, hamburgers. A unique feature of the Coast Starlight is the wine tasting event in the special car called the Parlor Car. We were in the parlor car when we started to see this sunset over the Pacific Ocean. We returned to our roomette for a quieter view. Our train was running late this day due to a faulty locomotive. If we had been on time, we wouldn't have been able to see this glorious sunset. These were special and unique moments I was happy to share with my wife and my father-in-law. One source of excitement on the northbound Coast Starlight is when we pass the southbound Coast Starlight. When both trains are going full speed, you can only see a blur. This time, though, we got to see more of the sister train. This historic coastal route crosses a sprawling Air Force base. Rockets are launched from here, some of them carrying secret payloads. The coastal route pulls inland from the sea soon after this, usually arriving in mid-afternoon in San Luis Obispo. We'll end this adventure here. Watch for part two of the Coast Starlight's northbound journey to Seattle. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. Further up the track, we'll do some vocabulary work and some if-then statements. But first, let's see what book we're reviewing today. <laughs> 